Ya Salim Eris What's up Juicy Fam? It's your boy Juju It's your girl Cece And we're back with another video And by the title, this time, we're doing Reacting to what girls do but will not admit Yeah So, so we'll find out what these girls does and Hopefully I'm not too shocked about it <laughs> yeah, man, Which I don't believe It's gonna be stuff that you see down on my YouTube Might be Maybe also, there's a few ones that surprise me. This is some girls and obviously all of them is not gonna be for everyone, not everyone does it, even like some of the stuff I don't do. But it is overall girls, you know, it's not just a typical girl or that girl, it's every girl. Yeah. So in you they will be two of these or three of these <laughs> that is you. That's relatable. So that's it. That you can relate yeah. to. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so first thing is feeling that your life is together and you know you've got it all sorted out when you have your matching underwear on and then matching clothes over it so like that you have your cute little set of underwear and you feel like oh i got this you know i i can see the world now you know yeah you can see the world Damn, yeah is that how you feel yeah is that how girls feel yeah like me personally when i have my little cute set on i feel like I got this, even though I don't show it, you know, I can feel like, okay, oh, well, I got this, yeah. So, you know, it gives you that confidence. I don't know, it just gives me confidence. It boosts your confidence. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I can relate to that, I think. When I wear some of my favorite jockeys, I feel like, you know, That's you got that extra little bit of yeah. something, something. <laughs> I can relate to that. That's it's relatable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Top of the world. Okay. Second one is goals that showers in super hot water. Oh yes. Okay, he's a girl with that one. Oh, and I'm yes. not the girl in that one because I like I like hot showers but I can't take it burning in, you know. But if I do get used to the water I'll turn it hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. And hotter. Yeah, you know with me <laughs> I cannot take a cold shower at all. I can't take a cold shower. I would moan you can't about take it. A cold shower. Yeah, I might start off at like lukewarm, but eventually I'll turn it up and up, and then you you know you'll start seeing the steam coming up. Definitely. I cannot shower in a cold shower. I hate it. It's warm at all. Even on hot days, it can be super hot. I'll take a super hot shower. No, no, it's... it's the best. So relaxing for the body. When, when us as girls run out of the shower to go get a pad or tampon or you know, your period because you don't want to be. Whoa! Yeah, we do that. We run out as quick as what, possible. What if, you, what if you do though so while running out? I will look like a crime scene. <laughs> like Jason came in and slaughtered them with it, you oh. know? <laughs> I'm just imagining you running and you know all these blood marks everywhere. In you. That's not how it doesn't just like pull out of you. You know, but you're gonna see droplets there, and you know, it's like it's a crime scene. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, okay. But what I've also learned is never use white towels or white, you know, cloths or anything to like clean. I don't agree with that. For the white thing? You shouldn't. To me, it's like it's. You know where to wipe. Like. I'm not gonna get into this, but to me it's stupid for people to say, please don't use a white towel. Okay, if you're not, you don't know how to like wipe yourself afterwards, if you are in your period. Like to me, you're not gonna be stupid enough to take the towel and go wipe down there and there's the blood, you know. You're not gonna do it to me, I dry myself when Taking I'm on my period. Taking a No, I don't. <laughs> And I dry myself with toilet paper down me because I just feel like that's hygienic. Why would I, while I'm on my period, go wipe myself with a towel? Yeah. Okay, but so you do get those unexpected times. When, yeah. yeah, okay, that's true. But you can wash it in the towel. Okay, whatever. That's my <laughs> point of view. That's it. This is not what this is about. <laughs> anyway, refusing to poop in a public toilet and also squatting over the public toilet because you don't want to sit on the toilet itself. That's what we do. But I'm sure you know that because I know that. of me. I know that. I'm guilty so most so. girls does it. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of girls are like, ooh, you know, it's germs. Some has more hygienic reasons and medical reasons than others, yeah, yeah. but mostly I just feel like, I don't know why, but girls' toilets are sometimes like 
Macy and I always heard that girls' toilets are messy. More messy than guys. Is That's that true? And I can't believe it because girls, we're so clean. Yeah. But then uh, guys will be like, no, my toilet was so spotless. And I'll get out and I'll be like, I couldn't even pee. Like, I didn't <laughs> even pee because it was so disgusting. I don't get it. Why is it like that? Why is guys defeating us in the clean toilet part? Okay, I was not clean though. I'm, like, okay, but it's cleaner than girls. I how do you sometimes know? Sometimes I've walked past men's bathrooms that didn't and then you smell. Take a no, that didn't smell. Oh, okay. But then you go to the girls' bathroom and it smells, and I'm like, <laughs> what is this? Okay. <laughs> but yeah. I, I understand that we yeah. girls we like you know just do the regular squatting. Peeing in the shower. Oh yes, please. I do it as well. Girls, if you it's if so... you're like, oh no, I can't do it, then I'm like, what? Are you not gonna go out to the shower to go pee it, and then get back? Yeah, in? that's what I, it's so convenient that's to actually not gonna pee happen. while showering. And most of the time, when you feel the water running onto you, it makes you want to pee. I don't know why this happens, but when the water comes onto you, you feel like you want to pee and just you know just release just a bit. Pee it. It's you're washing so, yourself. It's so what is the point? Oh, okay, no. I understand like if you wash and then you pee and then you get out, that would be disgusting. But if you do it before you wash, I don't see the problem in it because it's going down with the water that's going down with you. Yeah, I get most people does. I'm sure about that. Okay, so since we are on the shower part, getting a long hair out of you, between your bum, oh. when you wash hairs. Like when you wash your hair and then at the back it will just fall into your bum cheeks. Into your butt cheeks. Like in between your bum cheeks. And then you just have to slide it out. Hmm? Slide it no, oh. out. No, slide it out. How does it feel though? No. I it does? I've done it Don't you have like kind of like a tingling feeling? No. Oh, I can. Oh, that's so cringe. Oh. Imagine okay. you look like a freaking long noodle coming out of your butt. No. Oh. Like no that. ways, no ways. And since we're on that topic, hair, our hair clog in the drain while we are showering. Yes. Girls, we like, do it. You have to start admitting it. It's what we, it's natural. It's, it's not what just us. Freaking Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot is in the shower when the guy gets in and you see this freaking hair clogging. Okay, but then again, like, it's Bigfoot. You need to clean your shower regularly, so that's the other part I don't get. Like I get, yeah. I get the hair clogging thing, but it shouldn't clog in the first place because she's supposed to clean your shower. I don't know if that's just me. That's my point of view. Damn. And then another one on the shower bases. You know, when you get undressed and you're just about to get in the shower and the mirror's there and you look at yourself and you're like, okay, fine, it's okay, okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you're like, I feel that way. you know what? I'm Stop exercising on this part of my body, you know, basically like checking yourself out in the mirror before you climb into the shower. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, yeah, with guys as well. I think it's a guy you, goal thing. You just have this days where, you know, you're seeing yourself in the mirror and you're like super confident, yeah, you know what I'm like, saying? Damn. Like, damn, just flexing, you know what I'm saying? Mostly, I think for girls, it happens in the morning when you didn't eat and that stomach's nice and flat. And you look <laughs> in the mirror and you're like, damn, girl, you lost the weight. And getting it from something. all angles, you know? And then, and then you when you eat something, you, eat something you, you don't want to stay inside, you know, you just. You know, you don't even oh, want to stand the front because then it's like, oh, you bloated now. <laughs> That's what you're doing to me. <laughs> you get those days where you're super confident, you know, you're just feeling yourself and you know. Exactly. Flex. Oh, my soul. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Only shaving your legs when you need to go out in like shorts or skirt. I think that's convenient. I, I, I mean,. Hair growth is natural. You see so, me in the winter and you don't want to take off my long pants <laughs> because I do not shave and I do not need But you're exaggerating though, your hair is not that long. Okay, my it might be too long. Maybe because, two centimeters. Not even two centimeters. Okay, though. but if I need to speak for like other girls yeah, that's not, that don't have a problem like me, they would just lose their leg hair. But I have a extreme body thing. Like I'm, I need to, after a while I see those hair and I'm like, it needs to be yeah, but, uh, but that's a really, personal point of view. But it's, it's not really disgusting when you think it's, it's natural. Not disgusting. It's, uh, it's just society that, that makes it out that girls have to be, you know. But I will go days without shaving. Like, I don't, I don't think it needs to be shaved all of the time. Like right now. Oops. Like right now, I'm like, people with dirty feet. <laughs> it's like I have long leg hair because I'm not. I haven't been wearing any shorts or skirts. And, why do I need to shake if I don't? Exactly, I mean, you don't have to. Mm -mm. Only we need it. 
if you feel like. Girls playing with their boobs. Ooh. I think I'll play with the boobs if I was a girl for one day. Trust me, it's not like that. This one just for one day. You grow up with these things, you know. Okay. But they kind got of small boobs, but girls with bigger boobs, I don't know if you guys do it. I don't do it. Personally, like sometimes I'll just find man like holding it because it's warm. But that's about it. Like I don't play with my boobs. I don't go ooh, jiggle jiggle, whatever, you know. And I don't know if girls <laughs> do that, but I've heard that so. some girls have you know, they do occasionally just play with them randomly, but I don't. That's my... I just love laying on them. I love putting That's my on them. That's from a guy point of view. I know. I was just saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you guys grew up with it, so it's kind of natural. There's nothing really, you know. Exactly. It's just another part of your body. Structural. So... Girls wearing the same bra over and over without washing it because Ooh. it's so comfortable. Okay, I agree with this when you're not sweating in it and stuff like that. But I no. don't like washing my bra. I love wearing the same bra because like it's that comfortable. You just don't want to put it in the wash because that day that it's not with you is the most terrible day of your <laughs> life because you've got like that favorite bra. And yeah, that's what I want to say. If you, uh, uh, every girl has the favorite bra, and I mean, I don't think you really need to change bras regularly. I don't think you really sweat. Well, you do kind of sweat. Who does sweat? But it's not really where there's so much odors, I suppose. Exactly. So I don't think you really have to change bras on a regular basis. So I mean, if you have your favorite and you feel comfortable in it. Exactly. Sometimes you'll find girls scratching their boobs. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's dirty. I'm not sure. Scratching Yeah, like. No, sometimes it gets issue just like your stuff. I think it's because of the, the also... same bras. No. <laughs> I think it's of the same bras. No, sorry. Okay. No. So, for a guy, can a guy wear like one jockey pool? You know? No, it's not the same thing. Okay. It's like Up a panty the thing. It's, you can't wear the same panty. Okay. The whole day. Okay. Alright, I get you. Girls <laughs> loving to pop pumbles. Oh now, my I gosh. love it, but he hates it. He doesn't let me touch him. Oh, okay, it's the worst it thing ever. Well, it's not that bad. It I is mean, that bad. Ah, you just do it at you the... You can lie all <laughs> you want, but not even on the good days. You want me to touch you. But I girls would love just do this, pimples. and you'll be like, don't touch me, don't do that. And I'll be like, why? Like... It's so nice. That's all you want to do. It's like, you see that bubble wrap that you get? Like, <gasps> oh, boop, it's boop, the same boop. thing. You just want to pop it. That's nice, but ugh. Just leave me alone, you know? Ugh. <laughs> I don't know, girls love popping pimples. Anything to pop, they just want to pop it. <laughs> okay, sitting on the toilet even after using the restroom. Like, you're oh, just yes. sitting there and you're just like yes. on your phone. And you don't want to get off, you're too lazy to get off. I know I do that all I the time. I do the same thing as well. I just think it gets it's so horrible. sucked into your phone. I don't know, the toilet might suck you in as well. I'm not sure, but. I do that a lot. Leave it on. Leave it on. It's not your life. It's a waste. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Girls using dry shampoo almost always. That's what I've heard. I've heard a lot about that. I've also heard, I personally don't own dry yeah, shampoo. That's I don't, I I've heard really. that girls get addicted to just using dry shampoo. Um, to the long run, it's not the best for your hair. But mm -hmm. I do agree with using dry it's shampoo. It's really convenient. My friend has dry shampoo and it works amazing. Like I came there the one day because I couldn't wash my hair for a little bit and then I just came at like I went went to her and she just totally transformed my hair with that. <laughs> it went from like an oily mace to like a perfect poofy hairstyle. So basically you can use that shampoo on your oily hair. Yeah. And it just I dry does it, it up completely. Oh, okay. And That's it magic. smells nice. It smells, it smells like shampoo. Yeah, I can get you the phone. Can I need it? To what? You know, I don't always. Can you blow I'm not it? always gonna wash my hair, so then you can give me some dry shampoo. But then you're gonna put conditioner on it, and it's gonna defeat the purpose. Whatever. Yeah. I just wanna try it out. There. I wanna check what that's all about. Buying clothes online because it looked good on the model. You know when you scroll through Instagram, you scroll through Facebook and you're like, Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. And then it gets to you and you're like, yes. oh. We're all victims to that. It doesn't look good. We are all victims. Sometimes you'll see it and 
uh, well, from a girl's point of view, they see it and they try and get the same thing and it just doesn't fit the way it looks but on the But still, because, because it the, looks good on the model, they'll buy it every buy single that. time. And, and I'm sure the shops does that to kind of... Definitely, kind of, like, like the best body type for that for outfit. For like these dolls that you get in, just um, to fit for that and outfit. And it just doesn't work. And it sucks everyone in, you know. <laughs> We're all victims to that. <laughs> Not using, not sorry, not wearing open toed shoes or wearing or walking bare feet because your toenails aren't painted. Personally, that doesn't happen to me. Like, I do feel uncomfortable when I wear cute heels with toes open, which really happens because I don't like it. Um, and there's like a nail chip or something, I'm not gonna go and not wear, wear socks. It. I'm not gonna not wear it. I'm just that's a, my point of view, but I know of girls who wouldn't go out yeah. if they don't know not If it's not done, if Which it's not cut like properly. Which is fine, like you like to, you know, show people the base of it, and I totally agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I totally it's one of those that. things, man, it's one of those things. Definitely. <laughs> Getting long nails even though it's uncomfortable and you cannot really do a lot with it. I think it looks good. I just think it's really impractical. For certain tasks, unless you really develop the skill to use those long nails. Like I do my own nails, and I didn't do them now yet. I'm planning to again. <laughs> I'm debating about a color, but um, to me it's like I get them, and yes, things or some things are more difficult to do, but I just love it. Like, it's not going to stop me. I'm only going <laughs> to try and improve myself with long nails rather than to complain about it. Yeah. That's my thing. You know, if you like it, then embrace it and try your best to it. You know, get freaking. Eventually, you'll, for it, eventually you know? you'll, you'll get the hang of it. Exactly. I mean, if you, if have you do it enough, enough, you'll definitely get the hang of it. So. Exactly. But that was our last, last reaction. So. That was it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah. And next time we'll definitely do the guys one. We what guys do when they won't admit it. We'll definitely do that yeah, one I as well. So you guys good. will see that in our future videos. Mm -hmm. Excited just for that one. I'm excited to go look what guys do that you know <laughs> that they don't I don't think it's anything weird or really shocking. I think we are guys are quite basic. Let's just compete to girls. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> I wanna know what it is. Oh you'll find out. You'll find out. It's, it's not it's not a big thing. But guys, as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think. Share this. Share this video. To everyone. To everyone. <laughs> Most importantly guys, subscribe if you guys you are, are not, not subscribed, subscribed already. already. And as always, turn on those post notifications. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to turn on those post notifications guys. And join the journey as the Juicy Fam. Guys, no. as always, stay lit, stay, stay awesome, stay, stay juicy. juicy, we out.